<laughs> cool. Uh, uh, previously on the Myriad, the oh players ventured deeper into the caves that would take them out of the loser infested clam town and into High Sword proper, where they sought to unite with the Aegis Order. They met a mutant named Argyll who they ordered at gunpoint to lead the way out of the cave. With a key he sure. found previously taken from Prophet Avery, he unlocked a door that would lead the adventurers out. They tampered with things they did not understand, forced Argyll to crawl through the vile blight, and encountered the Great Clam. Its gigantic body blocked the way forward, but the group was able to defeat it without injury, and even more surprisingly, without their captive mutant dying in combat. They earned a few rewards and scavenged the remains of the creature, as Gilead, wa Gilead walked forward through its charred remains, eager to press forward. Do you all wish to go forward? Or Did we get our loot? You got all your loot. Sick. Did Just, we level up? Uh, no. Okay. You got loot. Beat a boss. Uh -huh. Beat a boss. Well, level I mean, one of, one of the rewards was to level up, but you didn't pick that one. What? You randomly it's picked... You know, He's talking about when we were pulling the levers. The the complication, the oh, statue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One oh. of them was a level up, and you didn't take it. And also more on that later uh, about level ups. Oh. So we're going forward. Yep. Just confirming. You should just get yeah. this one. I think we should just level up. True. The tunnels of the Cam Clave wind <laughs> in various directions, but there's a clear path to follow. Cracked and worn by time as they may be. As they may be, some long-forgotten workers took effort to create stairs and a cramped corridor that spirals upwards. Eventually, this spills out into an open room. The smell of fresh sea breeze blows through openings on the left side of the open cave wall. In the center of the room, the tarnished remains of a ritual circle. Let me move you over. What just happened? What? Oh, we're just moving. Oh, cool. So the tarnished remains of the ritual circle. Yeah. Oh, sick. Let me music up. And as you were. <clears throat> All right. We've felled the beast and we need to get out of here. Let's keep moving forward. Who has the torch? Oh, who does have the torch? Oh, uh, Flaherty Wait, has it. <laughs> that makes sense. Lead the way. But be careful for traps. Maybe I, I should eat? lead the way. I can detect traps quite easily. Gallagher, <laughs> why don't you lead? I don't, I don't know how to look for traps that well. Hold on a second, hold on. I believe there's some potions that need to be drank. I hand the torch to Chuck. I will lead the way once Killfuck drinks his potion, so... Why am I drinking my potion? Drink the potion. Who has the potion? Do I have the potion? Don't we... Don't uh, a couple of us have potions? I well, heard he drank already... hers. Yeah. Oh. Killfuck has his. Killfuck has his. Drink the potions, huh? Uh, if I drink why don't you just tell him what he does it. or give it back to me mm, bottoms up I guess let's drink yes. the potions yes. uh, faith who, in each other will guide us through this cave sorry go ahead who had which potion again real quick his red, potion. red potion <laughs> yeah uh, I have let me check Flaherty Drake the white potion uh yeah, Flaherty drank the, the gray one. Killfuck has the red. And yes. you're and you're just you're you're drinking it. Drink the potion. I know he won't All stop right. he won't stop telling me to drink the potion unless I drink the potion. Yes, I will not. It it might be okay. <laughs> My potion didn't do anything. So you think? Just wait. <laughs> Why don't you just tell him what it does? <clears throat> because faith in each, the, each other is what will guide us through this cave, so... Oh, hold on, math. Were you the one running? Oh, math, okay. <laughs> that was a tactical retreat. 
Did it work? I didn't want to get in your guys' ways. All right. So brave and strong. Uh, kill fuck without questioning anything. Starts the session by picking up a red potion, putting it to his lips and beginning to drink. This potion is a neutral effect that finds the average of your health and sanity and makes them equal. So kill oh, fuck great. the large oh berserker barbarian oh uh, with 49 <laughs> HP and 30 right. sanity. Uh, I believe that is 39.5 <laughs> is the average and we round up to 40 40. So oh. gain 10 sanity, oh. lose nine health. That's not terrible, actually. That's not bad. Things can deal damage to my sanity and that would suck. Yes. I, insane. Well, we are uh, we are standing before the ritual circle. Mmm. Calculated. Mmm. Uh, mm. Somehow I feel more in tune with my mind. Yes, your mind, my mind, what's the difference? It also looks like you have some pains in your chest. Mm. Are we ready to proceed or is there any business? We need the torch, I can't see anything. Uh, you Where can see everything torch? in here, I just don't want to update the lighting because there is light coming <coughs> in from the left side of the room. Uh, okay. Oh, Never okay. mind, I can see everything. Kind of. So, uh, anyone know about rituals? What the hell is going on here? Not me. Not me. Before I'll, you I'll... is a pit of filth. Though you walked up in here and the sea breeze was a nice fresh bit of air from the cramped corridors you'd been traveling through, standing next to this thing is absolutely disgusting. Random scraps of bone and other biologic material which has since coagulated into a thick goop of disease. The foul stench permeates all around and filth weeds grow from the pile. Oh. Do you think, you think this thing is what's making all the villagers crazy? Oh, it stinks. Hey, it kind of smells like dick. Hey, dick, what is this? He doesn't respond. Can I roll mysticism? Dick? <clears throat> Can you what? <laughs> roll mysticism to check this pit. Yeah, hit it. Dick's busy putting a gun on this guy's back. Hmm. I'm learning that I need to fix that. Flaherty investigates a little bit more with her knowledge of mysticism and notices first and foremost that inside of the fetid pit, there is a stone tablet clear with writing carved into it. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> from her initial observations of this ritual, she hasn't seen too many that are like made this large, but it's so old that a lot of the markings on the ground would have blown away and there's would normally be all inside of the circle, various types of writing and much more symbolism. It doesn't look like any of that was here, and by her estimation, this ritual is extremely amateur. So what do this you is, think, Flurry? This is really shoddy work. Hmm. What do you mean? Like, there should be signs everywhere, but clearly this is done by a, like a, someone who didn't know what they were doing. Hmm. Was it you? Mutant? Hideous mutant freak? Chuck. Which one? Not, not Dick. I'm talking to the, the actual mutant. Chuck, you remember. You are Prophet Avery. You remember making this. But you don't oh. remember why or what you were doing. I, it's kind of a blur. I remember making this, but I don't remember why. <laughs> Something about the clam, I'm sure. So you... Well, it's shit. <laughs> All right, well, then why don't you do it better then? Everyone's so quick to criticize. No one's ever able to do it themselves, though, or help even. So quick to judge. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Look, I'm not going near it before I chunder all over the floor. What's that? Vomit, bro. Oh, gross. Hmm. Well... Ah, let's see. I guess I'll just start to fuck around with shit. <laughs> it's tough to kind of make it look better. <laughs> uh, you are you are making the ritual look better. Yep, I'm trying to make it look better. All right, Chuck <clears throat> goes around and dusts off the various stones that have marked a couple of the quadrants uh, of the ritual, 
sort of aligns the there's like bone that is uh tied together to other bone you're not exactly sure what the purpose of any of it is but it's starting to look like a little bit nicer okay like See? homey what do you think now cozy huh Looks it doesn't good. look any different. Yes, it does. It looks cleaner, more inviting. Why don't you stand in the pit there and take your head off or something? Maybe that'll Ooh. do something. Come on. Mate. Why don't you make the, <laughs> let's make the fucking mutant dude, bro. Oh, please. Oh, uh, <laughs> already made the yeah. do a lot. Uh, yeah, make him do it. That's a good idea, dick. <laughs> Please be kind to an old mutant. Why are you pick on me? I'm sure I made this as some sort of cleansing ritual. Surely. Surely. Maybe it will get rid of your mutant curse. Yes. It's not a curse. I was born like this. Oh, it's just what a terrible who I curse am. to be born with. <laughs> <laughs> Come along. Maybe this is a reward for defeating the Great Clam. You've proven yourself. I'm bleeding. I'm hurt. Well, you'll be bleeding more if you oh, don't get in the pit. you a big now, baby. On. We're all bleeding. Dick. Oh. Get him in the pit. It, cha it changed me mind, bro. He's a fucking pussy. Crying. Making me feel bad. Gellia, have you that? found anything? What are you doing? I don't know. I've been looking. Uh, let's jump over to Gilliard real quick while you decide if you're going to force this mutant to do more stuff. Uh, Gilliard rummages <laughs> through a bunch of random smash belongings. There's like beer bottles on the ground, old boxes, uh, most of it moldy and old. But inside one of these bags that are similar to the ones that you saw in Prophet Avery's uh, his house, you open it up and it's not full of disgusting garbage. Uh, you find what you can assume is all of Prophet Avery's worldly belongings that he gave up before he decided to become the Clam Man. So what, what's in a worldly belonging? Well. Oh, he's typing it. Uh -oh. Hashtag wealth. He's got some pain. Cha-ching! One randomly oh, oh, rolled anything. That's what's up. Wait. M negative 14? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's too big for chat. It is a spear. Hold on. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll just put that on my back if I can. Cool. Okay. The I mean, it will trot over. Guys, I found some stuff in this Wait, spear. Boy. Everyone, come close to me. Give me your hands. Uh, okay. Why? And he will start distributing wealth. Oh, I'd like some wealth. Six each. Nice. Out of the 30. Uh, Do use we... miscellaneous to give them it. Yeah. Mutant. <laughs> Get we'll go over there. I gotta get me pay. Right. <laughs> Joe going. Um, come on, give me your hand. You Chuck, you got yours. You can leave now. Uh, here you go. Kill fuck. All right. Uh, Thank you. Flaherty, uh, got you now. And uh, here's yours. Uh, mutant, here's Ooh. yours. Wait, don't pay the mutant. Oh. All right. And then Gilliard will trot over to the mutant and beckon him for his hand. What kind of trick is this? And he'll give him two. <laughs> Why are you paying him? We're just going to put him in the pit. It's you guys. He showed us the way. Yes, now show him the way to the pit. Well, I'm not doing that. I don't know what the point of this whole thing is. I'm pretty sure it's good. Pretty sure. I doubt it's good. Why? Look at it. It's disgusting. Well, uh, well yes, that's why we're going to put him in the pit. 
Can we just move on and get out of here? Look, there's a bunch of light over there. Uh, Star Wars question. <clears throat> yes. When I use wealth to heal, is it like the physical matter is like consumed? Yeah, it is deleted, basically. Normally you would burn like it like incense kind of inside of a thurible. Yours is a little bit weirder because you don't have to have a thurible because you're a dull hand, but basically, yeah, like if it's in your hand or like you put it in your mouth or wherever you want to flavor it, that it would just uh, disappear. All right, Flassie's going to hold the wealth she was just given and it incinerates in a hand and I'm going to rapid eel. Um, me, Chuck, and me again. <laughs> All right. She does have three hit points. Yep. I know. And, uh, it was just know, the sweet, long pause that got me. <clears throat> I was checking everyone's health. Error. This is the error I got. Error. That doesn't error. surprise me at all. <laughs> uh, I'll explain some stuff later. About you must answer the blues clues skills. error. How much healing is it supposed to have? Do you remember? Uh, two. It was seven healing times three. So that'd be seven for Chuck, 14 for me. Uh, 14 for you. You were healing yourself twice. Yeah. Who's Flaher TR? Don't worry. I'm healing everyone. Yeah, don't worry about that saying, Gilliard. Flaherty incinerates some of her wealth and the healing goes on to you. The savings go to you. All right. You just won a brand new car. Yo, let's go. Thanks, Mr. Beast. All right. All right. Are you guys going to mess around with this or are we could, can we get into the on? pit? You... <clears throat> I'm not going to, I'm not helping with this tomfoolery. Yeah, bro. Look, no, he's in the pit. I'm in the pit. Let's just go. Well, 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 well hold on. What are we going to do? We're going to take him out into the real world. He'll die. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's up to him to iron his own path. If, if you could just let me follow you so we get somewhere safe. Uh, where, I mean, where is safe for you? I mean, the forest. The mute. And anywhere. The forest. Where I don't know, a roof over my head or something. They'll be hunted and killed. Surely. It can't be any worse than it's been living here. I agree, let's go. Uh, okay. Probably could be a lot worse, but Whatever. regardless. Always go right. This way. Mate. Which we're, going, we're going left, mate. Where well, this is right, though. It's right of left, mate. Right of... These aren't right exits. Of, These are looking out over the ocean. Uh, you can even see down uh, far below where you were. The the Clamtopia is down there. And then this direction <clears throat> continues out to exit the cave. Wait. Gilliard looks onward, seeing if they're all killing each other or not. It's, it's quite far down, and you can't really make out the he squiggles on the eyes. ground. He squints his eyes he looks dick he looks shoves dick really shoves hard. Gilliard into the ocean. Dick shoves Gilliard into the ocean. Do you? No. Okay. <laughs> would the strength check even work there? Yeah. I Damn. mean, like, you would get to opposed or something, but... Uh, Wait, let me oppose it. Listen, the, the darkest timeline. <laughs> what happens in the darkest timeline? Just death goose nonstop. I oppose it with a muscle check. Okay, I, I re repose and then yeet him into the ocean. So. Uh, well, wouldn't that be something? It sure would. Uh, but yeah, you notice down there that you don't see them like killing each other or anything weird. Just like same as it was. Same as it ever was. Well, they haven't imploded yet. Wow, well, that's good. Nice. Well, that's good to know. So I guess we go this way instead. All right, All right, All right mate. Mate. Huh. 
We should have did the sacrifice. <laughs> I mean... Why do you always want to sacrifice everything? Because I like mystery boxes. I'm a gambler. <laughs> I'm a gambling man. I want to see what's going to happen. There's only one thing I'll make sacrifices for, but you're going to have to find that in character. Oh, shit. The group moves forward, uh, and Argyll, no longer being pushed by gunpoint, as everyone has started to feel a little bit bad for him, trails far behind the group, trying to not... Uh, be seen by them as he feels being seen by them is just going to lead to him getting bullied even more so far behind you tailing in the distance Argyll follows slowly you find the exit to the cave and it opens up into the big wide world of the full high sword island in the far <sighs> distance you can see the gigantic sword on the top of the castle uh which i'm gonna jump you all to the world map real quick Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. I tried to get you to preload it. Oh. Cool. Oh my god, we're here. We're here. Does everyone Why load does it? high score in a castle have a health bar? I'm going to explain. Jeez. I'm just Go waiting to make sure everyone's loaded. Is anyone not loaded? I'm loaded. I'm loaded. I'm loaded. It's yeah, the good. opposite. Anyway, okay, so here's Clamtopia, where you were. <laughs> you travel out, and you find yourself in the exit of the caves in this location. By the gigantic marker in the distance, you can tell, looking up, that that's the main High Sword Castle. They all have True. health, because as I run multiple campaigns and have different groups going, it's a representation of how healthy the settlement is. Like, if it were depleted in health, then okay. it's basically destroyed. The sanity bar is also okay. if the sanity of a settlement drops below a certain threshold, you'll start getting more occult activity and weird stuff like that going on in specific areas. Uh, similar to how way back uh, where you came from, though, it's a little bit hard to to tell. In Whoa. the original settlement of Eden, uh, they have lost uh, 200 of their sanity. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's full. Eden is a very nice and proper and like privileged area, but there's been a strange string of murders that have yet to go <laughs> solved. And even before you, uh, Oops. you did that, they think they're actually related to another string of murders and has got everyone in a little bit of a panic. Yeah, who's Barry? Barry? Me. Yeah, right here. What's up, man? Uh, Barry is a, it's a far off town where um i'm trying to metagame i'm trying to power game right now let's go to barry oh, guys i just heard about it in your sideways campaign the the one guy was from barry his name was barry oh shit oh, wait look barry there's fort midway barry. there's river cliffs there's the trenches i'm looking at all your little spots you set up nice bro thanks bro thanks a little bro so Okay, so do we do we know that we're here now? Like, have we seen pictures of this place, or like, we just don't know what the fuck that this is? You have been given explanations by the Aegis Order of how to find where you're going, and the the island itself is not super complicated because, like I was saying, there's literally a gigantic, humongous snake with a huge sword pointing at the skies that you can sort of align yourself from and anywhere that you want to go. Okay. Uh, it's a simple path you would know because you were supposed to land in this port had your ship not crashed and then the Aegis Order Fort is just a short way up the road so you'd be able to deduce that following this uh, this wall would lead you rather quickly to the fort everyone we've made it we weren't on just some random little island full of crazy people we're on we a could big start. island full of crazy people well no this is this is our home now we're joining the Angus Order. We're gonna kill monsters like the one we did before. Oh, finally? Oh, cool. All right. So, normally, I would want to roll some random encounters as you traveled, but the uh, the fun part of today's session being the fun part of being shorter is that uh, there's a lot of uh, back end work I've been doing that basically has made every single enemy and skill and weapon invalid. 
So that's a huh. little bit hard to do this week. Um, I see that. What? Uh, I can't load my gun, so... <laughs> Yeah. There's a lot of I basically have to regenerate all of your weapons. If you look at uh I don't know, only Gilliard would have it now. Oh, uh, I'm taking you back. Uh, we have uh, to go back, back. The pole arm that Gilliard picked up, like I got rid of variants, it actually just says seven to fifteen damage for him now when you're you have it equipped, so it doesn't you don't have to like guess how much damage things do, but all of the old weapons aren't gonna do that, so I need to regen all the weapons. Um, and a lot of the skills are going to receive changes because I'm probably going to get rid of adrenaline and there's a lot of stuff that I was doing for creatures that I realized, why not just give this to players? And it, it takes a lot of stuff like to what? move over. So cool. we're going to unfortunately have to skip a week because it's a lot of shit. I've already made a lot of it. Like it's, it's easy to switch over, but I think this is a good time to like time skip. Uh, oh, yeah. As you go to the Aegis Fort, and then they are going to, uh, we, just, we can do a little bit of a time skip where you learn some new skills and be flavored as learning the new things and the changes. Wait, how are you okay. going to rebalance my class then? I'm going to nerf you into the dirt. You're basically <laughs> not going to exist <laughs> anymore. Fuck, man! This guy is it healing his like whole health bar every yeah. round. Um, it is not my intention to nerf anyone but i need to see like exactly how some things are going to work obviously if i do end up removing adrenaline dick's gun reloads entirely based on it and there's some weird shit that i might have to do or not do so it's basically i'm gonna have a little bit of extra time to figure that out all right uh but the session's not over all right that's just a lot of explanation <laughs> that at some point i need to explain that Hey, am I going to get buffed? <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. Buff Chuck. You travel. Why Chuck, why does Chuck Berry look like a pimp? What's the story? He's a, he's a pimp. Well, yeah, I know he's got the pimp mentality. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do pimps do? They fucking eat hot Cheetos and lie. Abuse women. Then how do they do that? With their hands? Yeah, but the other way. <laughs> huh? Verbally. With their mind. Oh. I, I just thought of all that off there. <laughs> I don't so know. So did you describe your character as like that to Ashley when you gave her the description or what? I was just thinking of some guy. I, I was basically thinking of like a this, 70s like soul this is basically guy, what know? he said yeah. it's still on his token yeah. yeah we're loading right now so i can't see it oh yeah we're loading <clears throat> i'm loading guys read it uh poet human strong puerto rican long hair pissed <laughs> off <laughs> button down the top buttons are unbuttoned fully shaved in the chest area shiny from all the sweat Skinny, mm -hmm. purple beret, pipe, Elton John glasses, pencil mustache, sandals, no socks. He looks angry and suspicious. Let's make everything into America. Grew up in small border town in the south. I believe that's, that's, way, more than, that's way more than I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the quote of what he said. Nailed it. One I, I absolutely asked. nailed it too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. I was just saying shit. <laughs> angry and suspicious suspiciously angry <laughs> why is this guy so pissed <laughs> yeah I'm loaded I feared a bit cool. Sam cool mm, I'm also loaded cool <clears throat> anyone not loaded no cool the group travels safely down the um High Sword has these sort of layered, gigantic concrete foundations that are laid at the bottom of the giant pit that is the entire area of High Sword, built into a large volcano with the main castle at the top to sort of separate the plebs into the rich people. Uh, though there is the main path that leads up, and there's one road that leads to the gatehouse that allows entrance into the uh, major castle. The Fort Aegis lies on this road, 
and it's the only way to very easily get up the steep incline that comes. And as you reach the castle, you can see how this works for real. As you would show up, the Aegis Knights at the top of the castle uh, with ballistas are able to watch you uh, travel down the road, and it wraps around and winds up all the way to the main entrance of the castle, and it gave me an error for that for some reason. And then as you would wind back around, they have the drawbridge to be able to properly toll anybody who is trying to travel through here, especially anyone with a wagon or a cart. There's pretty much no way you could buy ground, um, bring goods up to the main city without going through here first. The group is ushered in. <laughs> And in the main ground in the center of the castle, they are immediately greeted by Captain Von Smith and a very beat up, disgusting, injured man <laughs> named Lucky. Definitely lucky to be alive. Does he have tentacles coming out of his eye? What is that shit? Um, his his eye got removed and it's all healed over and and it's mm. not it's not great. Well, this guy's kind of cute. A little bit. Why do you yeah, say like it like that? Beat up sort of way. Oh, sure. hold on. Where is uh, where the hell did Argo go? I was just going <laughs> to ask that. Uh, Let me go grab him. He turned into a boy and now he's lucky. During the whole time you're traveling, do you just let him kind of tail behind you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well then, as you approach, you have your own mutant behind you, keeping a safe distance, trying not to get too involved in the crowd. And so too does the captain of the fort, Captain Von Smith, <laughs> walks forward with a beaten up man, not a mutant, but grossly disfigured and uncomfortable to look at. The captain greets you all. Hey! Hey. We're here to join the Agus Order. To join? Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Where That's the hell here. have you guys been? Well, like, you see, our ship Clam crashed. Topio. What? Our ship yeah, crashed. Clam Topia. Yeah, we, we killed will. a giant clam. We will. What was the name of our ship, bros? Uh, you think I pay attention to that kind of stuff? I don't know. Count, it had the, uh, the, the captain who was always drunk. Well, basically, the captain's dead now. A bunch of the ship people are dead now. The captain's son is dead, but we're here. We were trying to solve a murder in Eden. <laughs> it sounds like you guys took some weird side quests. Yeah. Not intentionally. Well, well, we well. Let me size you all up if you're really the recruits we've been waiting for. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? Jock. Avery. <laughs> Chuck Avery. <laughs> really? Ass. I so, thought you wanted to be called something else. Don't tell me what my name is ever. Any relation to Carl Avery? Oh, yes. He's my uncle's friend's brother. I don't follow. That might be me. Uh, oh, really? He'll reach forward to do a, a firm handshake. I'll uh, shake his hand as well, as strongly as I can. Here, can I do a strength check? <laughs> yeah. Um, let me get you. Thanks. It'll take me a while. Try to firmly shake his hand. <laughs> he beats you by okay. six quite a lot. He crunches ah! down on your hand as ah! he can tell you're attempting to do a proper firm handshake. <laughs> so what is it you do? Oh, I just um <laughs> hate reading. <laughs> nice, as we all do. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. I saw the guy reading a book and I kicked him. Hmm, you kind of look like a little baby girly man. Okay. <laughs> well, what made you join up with the Aegis Order? I've always wanted to secure our border and protect it. Ah, and you'll fit in yeah. right at home here. We definitely secure and protect our border, if you know what I mean. Yeah, wink. Thank you. Uh, ah, wink back. Hopefully all that muscle can protect your mind. Enough. 
And who is this hot little number? Oh, stop <laughs> it, you. I'm Flaherty. Oh, nice to meet you, Captain. I'm Flaherted. Fla ah, ha, ha, ha. I see, I see what you're trying to do. Um, I'm I can I'm a bit of an opulence mage, so I can do um some healing and uh, some fire and stuff. Ooh, definitely hot in the bedroom as well. I assume. Oh. Well. Uh, can I sure. can I get a laugh? A laugh? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, it's very funny, my lord. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, I'm also a Dalahan, and she'll lift her head off. Oh, goodness. The things you could do with that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'll yeah. see you later. <laughs> oh, this guy's a Chad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can hear the confused. funk music playing right now, dude. <laughs> He'll smack Gilliard on the chest, noticing his armor is already pretty suitable for the Aegis Order. He's the only one here. Besides maybe kill fuck soul shitter who looks like he belongs in a monster hunting mercenary-esque group. Uh, hey, my boy. Hello, my name's Gilliard. Is there anything else? No, just Gilliard. Okay, then. But All right. I thought he meant like anything else to my I thought he meant anything else to my name. I was gonna shake his hand. And who's this little boy? Oi, <laughs> little boy. Dick Clifford. Old mouth. No trousers. Ah, I see. Nice piece you've got there. Noticing your gun. I make when I was a boot face at sea, washed a ball bugger up all about. Never did have that happen to me, but I'm glad someone with that experience is here. Hey, don't bother showing me your chuff, cock up clock, collie wobbles. What the fuck? He looks back to his assistant. What is this man saying? He said, just cocking down your cock. I, I don't know. <laughs> and you, a tall, fine male specimen, if I do say so myself. Uh, thank you. I. I think. Where do you work out? Uh, well, you know, the harsh life of a soul shitter often demands much from the physical form, so sort of comes naturally, I suppose. Ah, same. He pats his giant belly. Uh, yes, well, um... <laughs> that, well, he's fat. Thank you. He's kind of... He's like he's old not, fat, He's not right? huge. He's like, you know, he's, he's got, portly. He, he's, yeah, portly. He's got a power he's belly. He's got a beer belly. Oh, yes. Yeah. Old man fat. Beer yeah. belly, soul patch, like, get over it. He looks like the bone structure of his face looks like handsome Squidward, but if he was a human. He looks like if Jack Black yeah. and Kyle Gass got smashed together in the fly teleporter machine. <laughs> 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 well, I assume you're going to be smashing some heads for us, huh? Ooh. Yeah, bro. Yeah, if bro. The, if the job demands it, yes. What is with these, <clears throat> these things on your eyes? Oh, uh, well, I, I feel like they make me look smarter, you know? It gives me more of an air of... Mm. But why would a Hunted. soul shitter need to look smart? Well, you know, we're not all just mindless barbarians. Some of us have other aspirations. Uh, well, what are your aspirations here? Oh, well, to prove myself that I can not only handle the job physically, but also mentally as well. All right, so you're going to be a barbarian and hit things. If you want to reduce it to that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that in the back? Oh, it's a mutant. Hey, it's Argo. He was a, a guide, bruv, to the, uh, the oh, clam you mean cave. Argy. Yes, of course. Yeah, I, uh, you, you know, you had a, a big fucking monster clam in that cave, bro. Monster clam in a uh, what cave? Uh, the, the the cave to the fucking west. The west. Yeah, west leads to Clamtopia, <laughs> bro. Well, it looks like the Aegis Order has handled yet another monster. Well done. <laughs> you guys are already doing great. You've got your own lackey. You've really got this whole thing figured out. Oi. That's right. <laughs> well, lackey. Could I, uh... What does he mean, lackey? 
The he's freak my show. Air. He's my squire, bro. Oh, the, Arky. the hideous monster that you brought along. Hey, you didn't see me making fun of your fucking squire. Look at his face. <laughs> no, go right ahead. He loves it. Oh, all right, ugly. Hey, <laughs> even my, even my John Thompson can fit in that fucking eye socket. <laughs> <laughs> go do something useful and get us all some mead, idiot. I fucking <laughs> Well, would you like me to continue to show you around where you'll be staying? We might have to dig a ditch for that mutant of yours. All right. Uh, no, mate. He's, he's he's my porter, bro. He carries the harder stuff or the the heavier stuff for me week back. Well, all right. If he bunks with you, I back. guess. Sleep show in the me yard, back, Nick. Yeah, look at me back. Bone this way. And so the tour, we're going to start up these <laughs> stairs. <laughs> now the pus, you know, oh, your disease, oh, how you're dying. Don't, don't you're talking about me hunch, bro. No, no, the, the disease you have. Yeah, mate. I'm probably going to die, Cap. <laughs> um, is everyone... Snap to grid? Yeah, so you can see he goes up the stairs here and there's an arrow pointing in. If you just walk onto the arrow... Dude, what the F? Whoa. How? Whoa. Magic. It's magic. Cool. He'll lead you into the room on the left first. Well, I guess before he goes in there. And this is the glorious master bedroom. This is where you'll all be staying. The last group didn't last too long, so I hope you can keep these beds warm long enough. What happened to him? Well... I've been using my grand strategy for a long time, many years a captain, the Aegis Order, of sending wave of men at wave after wave into caves, and I guess they just weren't strong enough. Uh oh. Alright. Alright, okay. Anyway, up here. <laughs> this is where you'll usually find Lucky. That's not him. I don't know who that is. When they wear the masks, they all look the same. He's your provisions master. If you ever need any items, any healing, any weird stuff, the, you know, the fucked up face guy. He'll, he'll, he'll do it. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, how long ago was that last group here, sir? Um, hmm. Hard to get new recruits all the way out here. A year, maybe? Oh. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, they didn't last a year, but... Oh. This room oh. over here, <laughs> I don't know what's in there. You've never been in there before? I don't spend a lot of time up here with the young plebeian chaps, if you know what I mean. Plebeian? I'm more of a master bedroom type of guy. I thought you said this was the master bedroom. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you mean? Well, if you could put a good word in for me with the redhead, you know, I could show her. <laughs> what, do, what do we get, bro? <laughs> What do you mean, what do you get? Yeah, mate. We ain't just giving her to you, bro. That's hmm. right. We well, own that woman. I could there. cut you a bargain. Well, I get the what woman. What are we talking about? And I get the soul <laughs> shitter. Uh, what? And we no, go you, twinsies. Uh, guys, we don't, we don't own either of hold them. Hold on, hold on. Let's hear them out. Well, I just also, I, I get so... We well, want soul shitter too, bro. If you want to be a part of the order, if you want to be properly treated, then I think it's uh, it's only safe to, you know, show some respect. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I'm All in. right, Dick. Get to work. <laughs> well, I'm the most respectful chap this side of the uh, North Sea, bro. Anyway, the tour continues. Come along. What the, the hell? <laughs> this is the room with all of the twisty knobs and turny things. Wait, so we can control the gate whenever we want? Well, no, we have other people for that. You guys are going to be going out into the world and doing business. Yeah. You see, the whole setup here. The people come in, we take their money, and then they keep right. going. 
but they need to respect us. And we've had to fortify this place with so many people that we haven't really been able to go out and do anything to earn their respect and, and trust, if you know what I mean. So murder them. No, 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 no. We need to, like, kill monsters and look powerful and, like, I don't know, make people think we're helping while we take their money. Okay. All right. All right. Wait, so we don't actually help? Well, no, I mean, you might. If you get lucky. Oh. Right? Last what do group, you mean? Last group didn't get very lucky. Oh. Okay. And here is the blacksmithery. She's not very good at it, but she can try. Moving on. She kind of. How the hell did you hire her then? Shyly nice waves and doesn't really have a chance to say much else and doesn't want to interrupt the new person tour. I'm going to lag behind a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me continue the tour while you lag. Okay, all right. And this is the main cool room where our giant cool thing is and our big nerd is. He can explain hey. all of that to you later. Now we saw one of those statues in the cave. Oh, did you now? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, mate, we used it, bro. I mean, we pulled some levers. Yes, it did, did something. Yeah, this old fart will tell me it's something about the lady of complication. And I'm like, women, am I right? <laughs> All right. Tor what continues. This guy is terrible at jokes. What does he mean? Lagging behind. No, I'm Chuck. not sure what he means. What was your, your opener? No, I mean, I'll make this quick, but uh, <laughs> hey, are, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. All right. Uh, it just doesn't seem like uh, the the captain there is uh, too respectful of, of his uh, we recruits. We mostly just ignore him, and we really run the ship, and he thinks he does. So. Oh, uh, do we, do we don't have to sleep with them, do we? No, <laughs> no. He'll just, he talks a lot. Okay. Uh, so is there anything we should know? Just kind of go, just, just nod and smile or <laughs> smile and nod? Yeah, pretty much. That's how we've been treating him. Um, I don't know. Uh, just listen to what your, your fellow Aegis Order say and what's with the pipe and the hat and are you okay? Uh, wh what's with the scars in the face? <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually fight, and you don't look cut out for this work. I'm sorry to be rude. Oh, uh, you look like you've been a little too cut out of your face. <laughs> Damn, sir, you're covered in shit. <laughs> yes, because I was out fighting. See, checkmate. All right, well, don't get too comfortable. What is that? Why does everyone keep making these vague threats? You or made fun warning. of my face first. You made fun of me first. What are you, crazy? You were second. Y yes, that was self-defense insults. Listen. All right, my bad. Day one, start over. Name's Claw. All right. Name's Chuck Avery. Nice to meet you, Claw. Um, which one of us has that clam piece from the giant clam? Um, not me. I can't remember who was diddling with it, if anyone recalls. Uh, I would have liked to have. I don't. I don't know if I did it. Well, I don't think it's Chuck. Did anyone pick it up? <laughs> you, said, you said you said you gave us two. Yeah, I know. You said that we had it, but I don't know if you appointed or if anyone clarified who had it. Not really. Um, and we can handle that stuff sort of at the end in a little bit more of a meta discussion. Okay. I was just, uh, okay. All right. Hey, Claw, have you ever worked with magical clam items? <laughs> Matt, what's magical about them? Uh, I guess the size. Where I'm from, magic means danger. So I don't know that that's my territory. Yes, it was very dangerous. That's true. Oh, you don't like to. Oh, I understand. Okay. All right. Nice meeting you, Claw. Sorry about the insults. 
Bye, Chuck. All right. I try to find the group. Oh, here they are. Hello. Good news, Flaherty. <laughs> oh. Yeah. What? What is it? <laughs> well. <laughs> good news. What's the good news? Just it's good news. <laughs> okay. Let's just say that I got you out of a sticky situation. <laughs> Chuck, so the tour stick. continues. Chuck, why do people keep speaking in riddles to me? Goes to party members, directly speaks in riddles. I'm a poet. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the job, man. <laughs> This here is the room where we keep all the things we find off dead people. And that there is my boy, Frank Cardo, the strongest of us all. <laughs> Back when I was as young as him, I was twice as strong. Oh, Gilead, so that is... guy could totally fuck you up. Hey guys. So what does he do? He could beat your ass, Gilead, I bet. Well, he'll be the one who <laughs> trains you and gives you, you know, the good old greeny rookie walkthrough. <laughs> Well, if he can beat my ass, it's a good thing he's training me. Oh, yeah. Beat my ass a couple of times. What the hell? <laughs> Who hired you? I like this guy. <laughs> and here's the other twisty knob money makey thingy, where we drop down the drawbridge and let the people go on their way. Any questions? What? Yeah, what people? All the people who passers by who have to pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, we really try and grift them for all they're worth. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. I uh, think they're catching on, but as soon as we get some more monster kills <laughs> under our belt and some clout, then we could pretty much take anything we want. So they pay because we're making this area safe, yes? Or at least that's what you tell them. Well, we're owed payment for the work that we do, wouldn't you agree? Well, Yes. Oi, uh, speaking of which, where's the uh, Misonian bonus? Oh, we'll get to that in a moment. Once we have all the uh, shit sorted out, you guys can, you know, pick up some armor. We've got, obviously, plenty of spare stuff laying around. Get you all sorted out. Sound good? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Um, that's all. Any any questions? Yeah, mate, let's see your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> You're going right to that, aren't you, dick? <laughs> You're a little bit not my type, sir. Oi. What's your type? That one. I got, I got the hair. I got, I got the, the mustache. Yeah, you could just pretend it, sir. Behind Dick. <laughs> <laughs> he can't In see the you dark, over the humpback. They probably look the same. <laughs> I got the oi. Hmm. Look at me oys. I suppose I'll consider it, but you don't make a strong argument. <laughs> oi, it was... It was gonna... It's gonna vomit in your bed anyway, probably. <laughs> Do you, uh... <laughs> You're not getting in there now. <laughs> well, do you like popping pimples or blisters? Oi, the blisters, mate. He's got plenty of those. All right, bye, everyone. I've got <laughs> very important captain business to do in my captain room. I guess yeah. that's a no. I uh, get no fucking signing bonus, mate. We're not getting it. I don't think we're getting it either, mate. Is this guy gonna kill us? <laughs> Unintentionally. Uh, hey guys. Hello. Um, hey everyone. Nice can to I, meet uh, you. Hello, Frank Cardo. Uh, can I uh, excuse me and my comrades for a minute? Sure. Uh, 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 sure. Uh, should I not listen or? Look, I mean, hands over your ears, mate. Yeah, just your muffs for a moment. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the new recruits. Just, just, a, just a, uh, as as soon as he tries to like raise a point, Killfuck will like raise his finger. But just, just, just a minute, just, just one minute, just just a second. Just, just we'll be a minute. Just a uh, second, I promise. Uh, all right, but 
Keep the door open. Just a second. Yep, just a, just a minute. There's a door oh. here. Friends, this organization is woefully corrupt. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So? What do you mean? Yeah, um... Ah, who cares? They use your tool! They use your tool! Are we? Are we? Are we? Yeah. We'll we killed that quick... guy's gun, we, remember? We, we're woefully... We're woefully corrupt. Well, I have a all quick of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we all killed that guy's son. The captain, yeah. remember? I, yeah. Well, you killed him, but... You killed Well, no one said anything. Well, I've told multiple people. We were not in. No one said anything to the in. captain. They got stabbed. I, I literally told the captain. Not till we were all about to die. He fucking no, I literally me. told him before we went on the boat. You know, it's nice um, to not be judged. Yeah. Wait, yeah, that's not what happened. Well, what do you know about running things, kill fuck? How do you know it's corrupt? Look, I mean, he's saying that he's taking money from people and then, you know, not yeah, doing anything. And then that's sending how services people to their works. deaths. Yeah, we're a militia, pretty much. I mean, you're all fine with this. Uh, mate, listen. Isn't this just how the world works? Me, me prospects ain't good elsewhere, bro. <laughs> huh. Oh, come on, Dick. Don't say uh, that. No, You've no. got so much going for uh, you. Oi, don't blow smoke up me arse. Roy. God, listen, I'm not. Look, you've got that gun. You've got... Yeah, I do got the gun. It's all I got. Fuck. That's true. <laughs> Fuck, that's all I've got. <laughs> but just I mean, imagine I... if you didn't have a gun. Yeah. So yeah, well, you do well, have a gun. Yeah, that's right. I do. No, no, I don't, none of I don't yours. See the problem. All right, well, hey, uh, listen. I just wanted to make sure we're all fine with this. We're all fine with this. Yeah, mate. Are you? Hey, Dick's you fine cool? with it. I'm you fine okay? with it. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page. I think the captain doing? does keep looking at me funny, but apart from that, I'm okay. Yeah, I got a weird vibe from him. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, okay. And Dick, don't beat yourself up. You've got a very okay personality. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, I think you've got some work that could be done. You know, you there's you're always improving, maybe. Oh, he quit stroking me, John Thomas, bros. Oh, we're, I'm being honest. All right, well, you're gonna make me blush. Stop it. <laughs> okay, well, hey, uh, why I don't we just we'll, stay a while? Well, well, why don't we see where this goes? And yeah, yeah, we well, can leave at any time. Uh, we can we? How do we oh, get paid? Yeah, I don't know. We're on an island. How are we supposed to leave whenever we want? I mean, we can always go back to Clamtopia. I'm never going back there. Well, why? What are you running from, really? <laughs> Aren't you the one talking about going back there, which would be literally running? No, that'd be going back home. That's when not you go our back home. home. You're not running. That you're not, you're Chuck, remember? You're not Avery. I'm Chuck Avery. Wait, didn't you fucking surname change? Was it something like. I think it was Barry, wasn't it? Barry? Barbie? Listen, a name is just a label, and labels change all the time. Sometimes flour turns to bread. Maybe Chuck, weak labels. If you really want to go, I think we can all agree that it would be okay. That's true. You, you can leave whenever you want. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is <laughs> Clamtopia is always an option if we have to. Honestly, I think they're missing. I'm, they're missing the profit over there. I really think you should go back. Mate, Alone. You, think I, you think I got a chance with that lady? Hold on. Does everyone think I should go back to Clamtopia? Yeah. Uh, no, mate, you're good. Uh, let's take a vote. Who thinks I should go back to Clamtopia? <laughs> Raise his hand. Are you gonna raise your own hand? Or is your own hand gonna go up? No, I'm taking a count. Okay. <laughs> Kill fuck will not raise his hand. Yeah, Flaherty? Dick, Dick won't raise his hand either. Flaherty? I mean, if you're Avery, you might as well go back there, right? You got a lot of things to do. Oh, hold on, Flaherty. Should I go back? Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's your choice. Now, no, it's your I'm choice. just. No, no. 
I'm asking you, what do you think I should do? Well, <laughs> I think <laughs> if perhaps you didn't like misdirect me to tie up Killfuck and, you, you know, help us fight monsters and such, then maybe stay? You, you killed that cuckold, bruv. You ran him through, but you protected me. You saw me grievous wound and you were like, Oi, who did this to Dick? And you ran up that hill faster than I've ever seen a man run up a hill and you killed that defenseless man instantly. I think and then, he used care for us a more than you're letting on, Chuck, if I'm honest with you. You guys really love me, don't you? Yeah, bro, I owe you one. I don't know how you deducted that We're a that family, from aren't said, we? But... We're all a family. <laughs> Please don't hug me. <laughs> I'll sure. stay, okay, I'll stay. I'll stay since you all want me to. <laughs> okay, Chuck. I love, I love you guys. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. Hugs Gilliard. Cool. He'll, Hugs he'll, Gilliard. Put his, he'll put his arm out to avoid the hug. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which one? Your, yeah. uh, hold arm. on. Oh, see? Your arm's in the air. So. Yeah, but I can put it down as you approach me. <laughs> Not I, still have, quicker. I still have one agility. Roll for agility. Have, I can have one arm in the air and the other arm pushing you. No. I have two roll. arms. He's I have a for, spot. Roll He's for agility hug. Agility hug. Yeah. He's, mobility. <laughs> mobility. This is a mobility. DM check here. I, I, I got it. <clears throat> he can't get in with the muscle, so he's got to agility hug you. Mm -hmm. I think I have something that helps that too, so you're hugged. Bitch. I mean, Whoa. I have movement. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you Stop. really love me, don't you? Stop. Get off of me. Wait, what's he smell like, man? I've been wondering. Kind of smells, uh, what is that? Like oak? Mint? Minty oak? That's nice. Oh, you it for my good. mom. <laughs> your, mom, your mom dressed you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this no. guy's mom dresses up. This was my... <laughs> you put cologne on you too, man. This was, uh, this was my dad's oh. armor. Do you oh, have to oh, oh. send a carrier pigeon for mommy? No. We should have, mom. Oh, can you stop dick. now? Can you get off me? <laughs> nope. He'll try and break free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep holding on. <laughs> we kick him in the... Kick him in the cockles, mate. Oh my god, he <laughs> really wants to... <laughs> <laughs> He squeezes as tightly as I try and break free. He's latched on. <laughs> what is this when you decide to be strong? Wait, what are we all... This is where it matters. Let, why don't we all uh, just <laughs> embrace for a little bit? Yeah, Stop. everyone get in. Everyone get gather around. Me. Is it all right everyone if I come in, come in from the top here, bro? Come on in. Why <laughs> is this happening? <laughs> Come on, Gilliard, don't be a sour I can, don't have a choice right now. Come on, come on. <laughs> Farming fan the, art. The group <laughs> pushes you into a corner, slams their hand on the wall like an anime character, and overpowers you into the hug. Killfuck's <laughs> arm reaches around the whole group and pops one pustule on Dick's back by accident, not knowing his own uh, strength. Uh, oof, <laughs> oof, bro. Ooh, gentle oh, sorry style. about that. Sorry. Oh, what's that smell? <laughs> oh, good, it's Dick. Vomit. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, an upchuck, mate. One of us could all do with a bit of a bath. One of us is definitely going to die. Is this guy watching this? <laughs> yeah, of course he is. Yeah. <laughs> we all, so he sees us all talking. <laughs> Gilliard raises his hand and then into a group hug. Yep. <laughs> He's just going right. to stand there and not join the hug. <laughs> Yeah, get in on this, Frank Cardo. Come on. Uh, I don't, on, really, please, I don't know. Cardo. I don't come know on, you guys. Come on in. Please yeah, but get you're about to. Me. Don't be a stranger. Come please on. Please make it stop. Oi, we just killed the joint clam, mate. All right. This is not. No, don't. <laughs> Something tells me this guy's killed his fair share of giant clams. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't yeah. understand. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, they call me the Slayer. Anyway, you guys ready to get to work or you need some rest? Yes, get from them your... off of me. All right. Yeah, mate. Can I'll let go. Do you some a little bit of food? Maybe oh, some Jesus. Sleep? Yeah, yeah well, some sleep sounds great. I'll get you some food. We'll put you to work. Uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day, let you get some rest. It seems like you're all a bit torn up. 
Uh, I think this one just... You always look like that, huh? Yeah, yeah. like... Oh, oh yeah, that's bath? Just, that's just him. We look at me leg. Like that. Me leg, it's oh. sideways a little bit. My Co leg! Ooh. Got bit I by a clam, bro. I think we're still covered in bile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not looking good. Yeah, yeah a bath would be great. Anyway. Dick, Dick shambles forward. Oi. Yeah, friend. Thanks for training us, mate. No, not a problem. It's what I live for. Can't wait to turn you guys into men and women. I'm not. I don't want to come off like you hear that, Flaherty. You get to be a man. <laughs> well, maybe the captain will stop bloody being weird if I am. Oh, uh, don't worry. I asked Claw. You don't have to sleep with him. When did I have to sleep with him? Oh, right. You weren't there for that. <laughs> You don't. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Hey, can you tell us where the bathing places are? Uh, Dick really needs to uh, get clean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, come with me. I'll show you guys around. An actual right. explanation. Oh. <sighs> anyway, we're we're gonna time skip here and assume that the next session that we have is about a month from now in game time. <laughs> Uh, of the various things that you've learned through the training that you seem to be accepting. I was going to talk to the librarian. Oh man, Dick's disease um, is probably going to be real bad in a month. <laughs> okay, we can do that conversation, but I want to explain the after that the meta of what you guys can do during the month. Yeah. Okay, go get him. By myself. Oh, hey, where's Gilead going? Well, I would have stayed behind as he shows you guys the rest. <sighs> yeah, you would have ran off from the... Yeah. yeah. True. You're right. Where's Gilead? Unless I sneakily did it, but I wouldn't. So... Hey. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. You gotta, you, I heard you guys hold books in this place. Oh, deep in the cellar, we got a few books. I'm able to go down there. Um, that's a strange thing to be asking for on your first day. No, I'm just wondering. You don't seem like the type to, you know, stab me in my sleep, but I, I have to ask. Uh, I am the librarian here. I keep them all sealed down. Yeah. It's usually me who will do the reading. Uh, well, what I'm is it that you need? I'm only interested in a certain type of book. What type Anything of book? Anything about dragons. Oh, dragons. What do you want to know, specifically? Everything. <laughs> Not any, like, <clears throat> one thing that... Uh, do you know anything about dragons as it is? I know a little bit. Well, tell me what you know, and I could fill in the gaps. We'll start there, and then perhaps I can let you see a book or go through them myself. Well, I know there are people that have learned to be knights with them. People that have learned <laughs> to be knights with dragons. Yeah. Uh, you're the dragon speakers the term. Yeah, that's the word. That's the one. Ah, oh, so you want to ride a dragon. Well, <laughs> here's the thing, unfortunately. This uh, Fort of the Aegis Order is a little bit new. We're moving all our stuff over from an old location. We just kind of took over the old, uh, the toll here. Wasn't always ours. And, uh... Okay. So, you see, normally, the Aegis Order makes their name. When they kill a dragon, we keep the skull out in front. And, you know, everyone, oh, a big, strong Aegis Order. They're able to kill the dragon. Right. Uh, we're not, uh... We're not quite there yet, friend. Uh, Captain's been talking about just finding a skull and pretending we did it. So we don't, you don't have any books about him? I mean, or there's, anything with them. There's probably a few books I could look into down there for you, but <laughs> the specifics help. You know, the longer that I read the book, the worse it's going to be. Right. But I could also read it. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, excuse me. What? I, I didn't know that you could read. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I guess I'll start you off with a, a little bit of what I know around here. His high sword's a bit different. 
Doesn't seem to be too many dragons around here. I know back on the mainland, age sort of counts in the hundreds of dragons. We try and keep track and around here, we only... Maybe four. The whole island. Uh, a lot of skulls laying around. It's like, uh, maybe they were overhunted in the past. It seems like the Aegis Order has a, you know, a deep history here, but hell if I can figure out what it is. Well, if it has to do with dragons, I'm going to try and figure it out. I know I have seen one or two of the dragons. A little hard to tell these ones apart, but they do come in with a person on top if you're talking about riders. Wait, I need to meet this man. I don't know. They fly all the way into the swamps. Nowhere near <laughs> here. I don't know how you're gonna talk to a man on top of a dragon. Maybe one day I'll meet him. I suppose Maybe you I'll can hope. Learn some dragon talk or something. Oh, what's got you so interested in dragons, boy? When I was a wee lad, I saw one almost destroy a city i've become entranced dragon destroying a city that's you know it's honestly kind of weird well, maybe it was a dream i don't know but i've seen them come <laughs> overhead well they can be quite frightening if you saw it as a boy the sound just from them flying by i didn't see it as frightening i saw it as something i want to be a part of well, I suppose it's uh, long overdue, but we can keep looking into the old dragon situation out here and see if we find any leads. Uh, go down into the library. Maybe by the time you're done with your training, I'll know a little bit more. That'd be great. Thank you. But again, specifically, what do you want? To become. But what do you a want dragon. me to find in the book? Like, if oh. I come back and I do all this reading, and you're like, oh, I already knew that dragons have wings, of course, dummy. Right, right. How to speak to them. How to sp Those things can speak? They do not have a language or anything? Uh, they might. I don't know. I've heard crazy as shit. I want to learn their tongue. Oh, well, all right. I, I suppose I'll look into that as well. Poor. Because... They're called dragon speakers, right? The ones that ride them. Oh, I, I follow your logic there. That does yeah. make a bit of sense. I know that in the, the waterways below the capital, there's, there's a few dragon speakers walk up and down through there. Though they're not very personable. The sewers? Oh, no. The, the giant bridge goes all the way up oh, to the capital. I see. For miles. Well, uh, anything else I could help you with in there, friend? No, I think that's good for now. All right, I'll look into this, um, how to train your dragon. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> good day, then. Maybe you have the box set. Mm, we'll see. I think only season one or something. It's a good start. All right. Anyone else? Any last closing things before <clears throat> I give, uh the ending meta explanations hey deck yeah mate do you just need can i this is a weird question can i can i be your pimple popper for your back yeah mate. yeah i'm out all right yeah yeah i can't me me still be little arms can't reach behind me bro it seems disgusting but i'm i'm really fascinated by it i want to give it a try oh yeah, yeah the interior of them smells like vomit oh that's okay <laughs> Don't throw up on me, bro. What? I mean, you just smell the same. Yeah. But I lost the last man. Vomit on me. It seems like it's a curse of some sort, bro. Is that what that smell is? Is is it still the other the other man? Might be. From the ship. Yeah, the radiant Mike. You miss him, don't you? I can tell. Yeah, yeah, I miss him. Never. You, you, ever, you ever just meet someone, mate, and you know that's the one? Oh. N no? No. Can't well, say I have. One day, you're going to find that one, and he's going to be in the, uh, the the cargo hold of a ship piloted by a doomed captain. And he's going to. He gonna... squeezes a giant pimple while he's saying this. 
And he's going, he's going to look, meet him, in, look him in the eye, and he's going to be like, "What you looking at?" And you, and then you lean in for a kiss, and then he slips his tongue in, and then you, when you ask, "Oi, you mind fucking throwing up on me?" <laughs> you mind... <laughs> that sounds you, really romantic. Oi, oi, you mind throwing up on me back? She and squeezes another he... one, and nearly gets in her eye. <clears throat> oh, that one nearly got me in the eye. <laughs> the point okay. is, one day. You'll find someone that'll throw up in your mouth, bro. Oh. Do you mean it? Yeah, it just ain't gonna be me. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe you'll find a new Mike. Who knows? Hey, yeah, think he goes, he's got a brother, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> Luminescent Bob. Here in Hoy Sword. I mean, maybe he lived on the shipwreck. You don't know. He might be here. Yeah, mate. Or he's fucking dead. He was kind of fat. Don't can't imagine how he'd swim that far. I mean, Chuck made it. Yeah, but he's slim. I'm not. Nice if, Chuck, if Chuck made it, anyone can. You're fat, Flaherty. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm more fat. like I'm not fat. More like fat, Hurdy. <laughs> I'm big boned. <laughs> fat, Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Dick doesn't laugh. I'm laughing. <laughs> Dick doesn't. <laughs> Chuck is laughing. <laughs> don't listen to them, Flaherty. I think you look very powerful. Yeah, Thank Fat Hardy. Don't fuck. listen to him. <laughs> she squeezes another pimple. <laughs> End scene. Fade to black. All right. Fade to green. Got a lot accomplished there. <laughs> Fade to green. All right. <clears throat> so, during the month that you are training to make sure you are proper Aegis recruits, uh, you can let me know any one thing that you want to spend your time on that you want in general. Like, if you want to level up, you can have it. If you want to get more money, you can have it. It's just like who you would spend your time with and what you would get out of it. Uh, and specifically, you could even, like, you know, if you want to improve one of your specific skills or learn any specific thing, it's enough time and you have enough training that you could really do whatever you want here. You know mine. Um, the librarian during the month will be looking at the dragon stuff, so you can still pick anything else. Oh, level up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I Sounds will say great. that generally, um, level up is an easy answer, but if you pick something specific that you want out of this, hmm. well, because levels are random, you might be able to get more closely to what you want. Oh, okay. Um, um, do we have to decide right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that would be great for the stream. Okay. Um, I need um, Mystic. How do I switch? Oh, I see. I feel like, um, Killfuck, at least for barbarian standards there isn't really much training when it comes to weapons so any sort of uh like proper training with his warhammer would be really nice because basically everything's kind of just instinct mm -hmm. when it comes to the soul shedder clan if you just kind of like hit things really hard but you don't hit them particularly well so any kind of training with the warhammer would be really nice like proper training um do you have anything more specific? Like if you want a better Warhammer or you want stuff that, that great. synergizes yeah. with the Warhammer. Oh, um... Hmm. But you definitely favor the Warhammer over you have a, a sword. Yeah, the axe. The axe. Um, Yeah, the axe is good for AoE, but I like the Warhammer just for the huge single target damage. I think that's much more in okay. line with the way that he fights. Um, Is there a list of maneuvers i guess i don't know what to call them uh not really there used to be a maneuver system but now it's kind of just like shove <laughs> no i sorry when i say maneuver i mean like the random martial skills that we got to choose from when we leveled up like quick attack for me like where is um, that shit there is a random level up page, but like in the extra time that I'm going to have, I need to remake a lot of skills. So there's nothing I can really have you look at right now. And more of like a general sense of what you want would be appropriate. Okay. 
Uh, uh, uh. Uh, okay. What leveling leveling up? Um, you just choose a skill, right? That's it. Yeah, uh, I was explaining before the stream. Leveling up doesn't like. There's nothing you get at level four. Every level up is just the random selection of skills. So if right now, if like you can choose anything that you want, that's why I'm saying it will be more beneficial to think of something yeah. that you want than a random level up. Well, I'm interested in something that would synergize with quick attack or whatever the fuck it's called. <clears throat> Okay. Boom. I need. Uh, I think you said last game that I need. I need. Wait, to hold on. Oh, 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 <laughs> or, or, sorry, or something for like mobility. I guess. Okay. Either or. Yeah, because you're. Teach neat. him how to Sonic roll with his hunch. Uh, and yet, yeah. uh, Chuck, I know you with mysticism and spell casting. Um, yep. I That's the shit I that. need. Cool. Done. Easy. And I think Flaherty is the only one I haven't heard from. Well, I have a question. What do you need? What I do for the training? Uh, what one specific thing would you like to get during the the time? What would you like to train in? Or you can get money, or you can get a weapon, or really um, just what one thing would you be focused on getting? Probably um, accruing wealth for the for all my opulence stuff. Okay. Fuck. I man, I might actually take money too instead do you have like a rough idea what kind of amount of money um i am gonna give you all 15 gold as the signing bonus oh my oh. god we actually got it but we could get money on top of that right if we yeah choose like money. if you want to spend your time in the next month of like trying to find ways to make more money then yeah i can do that like every healing spell i have costs six wealth so it's like gonna fucking i'm gonna blow through it if i don't build up some i'll do i'll do money as well I'll do well. Motherfucker's gonna be going out mining for salt. <laughs> I have a question. I gotta let my dogs out. Yeah. So, my character kind of completely revolves around adrenaline right now. And since you're gonna be changing it, it's kind of that change is kind of gonna weigh on my decision. Okay, I can I'm talk like to you throughout the before the next session and we can figure something out because I do need, like, for all the times I've tried to make adrenaline work, there's like actually like three abilities in this party that even use it or care about it. Um, so it's more likely that like your guard just isn't going to require adrenaline and instant resolve would be the one question mark. And there's probably going to be a new instead of adrenaline exert keyword on skills where if you use an exert skill, you can't use another one until your exert has worn off. So like one round mm -hmm. of exert rather than trying to build X number of adrenaline. Well, also my guy gets adrenaline on taking damage or getting hit. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, yeah, I can just ask you later. And I know that you <laughs> want a lot of like taunt stuff and I know what your, yeah. your stick is. So I'm going to try and like, I'll let you know. And then you can hey. let me know. Hey. All right. I think we're all good then. I Just think so. All right. Well, then, thank you, everybody, for playing. I hope you had uh, a, a good time. Uh, the next session, we're going to skip one week. So the next session... Mm. Fan art. ...is this first. Fart. Next session would be the November 10th. And I also have mm -hmm. to ask, and remember when Moon gets back, if anyone is doing anything for Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving um, is the is the twenty fourth, so yeah, yeah, it is a Thursday. I know that. Yeah, twenty fourth Thursday. Thursday. Yep, because of Black Friday, it's always on Thursday. Uh, so is anyone doing something <laughs> for that and won't be able to attend? Um, uh, let's. See. I probably I... will, but um, you and Surefor are welcome to join if we're not doing D&D, &D, so there you go. <laughs> I might be gone on the 17th and the 19th. I usually do Friendsgivings, so... Okay. Probably, but maybe not. I'll let you know. I'll keep you in the loop. Uh, where would you be at the 17th, Surefor? I think I have to go to New York for something. Okay. Um, Let me know, and I'll try and... What are you going to do in New York? Oh, you know. A little some some crack. 
Anyway, <laughs> something, something. I'm gonna jump over to fan art time. Wait, before we do fan art, wait. I mean, maybe this is considered fan art. Look at the general and myriad. Damn holiday scheduling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is fan art. <laughs> I stole it from Moon Moon's Discord. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to wait, wait for Moon to get yeah. back. Because there is uh, there is some very sick fan art this week, and yeah, I think I think scheduling oh, might be so rough for like Thanksgiving, and if you're gonna be gone that week, and I like absolutely need another week to finish some stuff that. I would have liked to avoid it this, but we might be in a, a pickle. We'll see. I mean, if if I'm the odd man out, I can always schedule it for like earlier that week or, or something. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to actually be on Thanksgiving. Although I'm a bit of a uh, I'm a bit of a holidays whore. Traditionalist. So we'll I like I like my holidays, man. I really do. We so. gonna gather around the sink and eat a chicken? Of course. No, we're gonna eat a turkey or ham. Oh, turkey, turkey, true ham. Yeah. Yep. Turkey you you any of that gross, like, uh, the, the purple gelatinous, what the fuck huh? is that? Cranberry sauce? Oh. Oh. Cranberry um, sauce is the shit, bro. Stuffing? You know what? Actually, it's so good. I've never I like actually stuffing had it. when it's Wait, not no, yeah, in the box. It. Um, cranberry sauce, I mean, honestly, it's pretty fucking good if you just throw that shit on stuffing. Or, like, turkey or whatever. But usually I just like to cover everything in gravy. So that's kind of my hang-up. Okay. Well, there's not a lot of room for cranberry sauce. I'm, I'm a gravy guy. Same mm. turkey gravy mm. stuffing done. Give me a mashed potatoes, a dinner roll too. some deviled eggs. Get some fucking cocktail shrimp to munch on. Ooh, yes, sir. Is moon back moon? No cocktail moon. shrimp. Moon. Come on, moon. Oh, oh, yeah. Always got to have some cocktail shrimp for people to eat when they first arrive. OK, oh, I'm yeah. gonna... I'm going to jump on a fan art because I want to wrap up the VOD. I don't want it to linger too long. I'm going to jump sure. into the art. Demi had done some crazy shit this week. This one is what the bizarro fuck, bonkers. He said he wanted to do a myriad <laughs> in a, a, a painting in myriad style to where if you make it abstract enough, it won't make you go insane because literally no one can agree on what it actually is. Mm -hmm. So that okay. is the party as some sort of abstract blob. This is fucking quite kind of looks like that kind of looks like Doctor Doom. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, I I can kind of see everyone. I can kind of tell. I can see me. Yeah, I can see. I can see myself, and I see. Oh, so wait, I see it. Okay, kill fucking and Dick are kind of like in the same area. Yeah, look at how you're not going crazy right now because you can't agree on what is what. Yeah. Wait, but I can. That's tight as hell. Yeah, but no one oh, wait, else agrees with you. Then this sucks because we're not going crazy. Sorry, yeah, it's because I'm the only one that can read. Uh, and he did another one, which I think this is kill fuck. It's it's it is hell. hard to tell. No, that's kill fuck. That's Gilead, right? That's cool as hell. It, like it kind of looks Gilead. like it's a mixture of everyone. Maybe because I can bit. see a bit of uh, Chuck mustache. Wait, yeah, maybe Chuck it is Gilead. I think it's kill. Fuck. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's everyone. Kill fuck has glasses though. Yeah, true. Uh, apparently, this is not finished. They're doing the whole fan fiction. Oh hell, mm. fucking yeah! Oh my god, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh my I want this god. done all the way. <clears throat> that better be. I want that. Thirty minutes long. <laughs> I want to see full penetration in this. Oh god, uh, dick. And friends. And friends. Hey, I love nice. That. He's At smaller all. than like <laughs> one of your biceps, Killfuck. Oh, <laughs> uh, there was little dick, little dick, cute little dick. Love that style. Oh, there he yeah. is. Is that the troll there heart? Is. Uh, I believe this was Chuck talking shit and then going crazy <laughs> and getting injuries. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. <laughs> it's going for the push. 
can do it. It's a nice go GoPro POV. Dude, I actually <laughs> like the love Among those. Though. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> GoPro POVs. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Cute. You guys, you really love me. Well, you really do. <laughs> that's it. Thank you guys again. Wait, next right. back. Yeah. Show the one fan art. Yeah, Moon. Demi worked on a big old, big old whole party psycho abstract. No one goes crazy art. No, not well, that one. Even the one before <laughs> that. Yeah, the one before this. That one? Uh, no, the one in no, oh, the McDonald's. You know the one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Yeah. yeah, there's the real <laughs> fan art of 